your discretion is advised. Any similarities with actual people are merely coincidental. Even the stories based on actual events are fictional. Hello, I am Valgar. All right. Hmm. What date is it today? March 30th. My favorite show starts in a minute. Good evening. I'm here with Mr. Unufri. Here's the first question for 10 Leva. What's the name of the planet we live on? A, Earth. B, Mars. C, the Sun. Or D, Nikolai. Before I offer any kind of comment, I want to use 50-50. Uh, you mean this question is too hard for you? No, of course not. But, you know, just in case. All right, it's your call. Let's see the 50-50 lifeline now. So now we have Earth, and Nikolai. Which one is it? I think I heard something on the news the other day. Something to do with Nikolai. <laughs> Let's not take any chances. I want to ask the audience. But I want to say something first. If you don't know the correct answer, please choose A, the Earth. Wait a minute, I don't get it. It's very simple. With this lifeline, there's always a certain percentage of the people who don't know the answer, but they have to choose one anyway. In this case, they will mark the answer I ask them to. Thus, if you know the correct answer, you choose it. And if not, you press the button I ask you to. In the end, even if I have 10% of the other option, I will know it is the right answer. If the people marked it when I specifically asked them to mark the other one, this means they were 100% sure it is correct. I'm still a bit confused. What if the answer you suggested is in fact the correct answer? It's the best case scenario. We'll have 100% on it. All right, I see. Audience, if you're ready, vote now. Your odd reasoning seems to be working. 100% of the audience members answered A, whether they knew the correct answer or not. Or, no one knew the correct answer. In that case, everyone answered A. While actually the correct answer is D. I want to use my third lifeline. Unbelievable, who should we call? My very good friend. Techno Mario. Okay, we're calling Techno Mario. Hello? Hello, Mario. We're calling from Bulgaria's favorite TV game show. Your friend Unufri will ask you a question. You have 30 seconds starting now. Hi, Mario. Now, what's the name of the planet we live on? A, Earth? Or D, Nikolai? Let me Googling it. Uh, 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 Hurry up! Uh, ah, Earth. I think at the very last moment he said Earth. Unless he meant to say Earth is not the correct answer. All right, no more lifelines. What is your final decision? Which answer do you choose? I walk away. But it's your first question. Even if you're wrong, you lose nothing. Doesn't matter. I came to prove that we blondes have something here too. And I think I proved it. This mental detonufri. 
Ladies and gentlemen, Unufri leaves the show with a total of zero. Huh? If you're watching this tape, then you are doomed forever. What's going on here? Listen carefully. The only way to undo the curse can be found in the old lighthouse. The old lighthouse? What is going on? I'll change the channel. You cannot change the channel. Hurry, hurry to the old lighthouse. Only there can the curse be undone. Oh my god, I'm gonna shit my pants! And remember... Be there by midnight or you'll be doomed just like me! <laughs> I will go hide at that Farouk's! Asparuch? Asparuch? Oh no, this happened to him as well. He's disappeared. I have no choice but to go to the old lighthouse and see what's going on. Here it is. The scariest place in the Sebar, the old lighthouse. Special? Special. What are you doing here? Don't tell me you have something to do with the scary video. I don't know what you're talking about. All I know is I was sitting at home watching TV when I heard a strange voice. If you're watching this tape, then you are doomed forever. Then I can't be doomed because I'm blind. All right, all right. If you're hearing this tape, then you are doomed forever. And so, the voice told me to come here and find out the truth for myself. <laughs> We're stuck here! There's something wrong here. I don't believe that we're really doomed. I think this is just a prank, man. <laughs> from upstairs. Now? What? Officer Buris? Hello? Are you all right, Boris? Are you all right? Are you all right? Oh, oh, what the hell was that? <laughs> I think you slipped. Um, uh, Mr. Officer, may I ask you what are you doing here? First, you tell me what you are doing here. Well, we both saw a scary tape that brought us here. Unbelievable. The same thing happened to me. It all started when I was watching TV. Were you watching Who Wants to Be a Millionaire too? Well, no. I was watching an action movie with cops. Mr. Ronda, I've got to tell you the truth. No, don't tell her. Tell me, Rosario. Our love is doomed, my dear Esmeralda, because I am your real father. No! But how is that possible? I am your mother, Rosario. Oh, Esmeralda. Oh, Rosario. Damn, <laughs> <laughs> 
need me. <laughs> and then the strange girl told me to come here and find out the truth. But I must have fallen asleep upstairs. Maybe out of fear. You find anything? Only that it's not very comfy to sleep here. So we're stuck here, muchachos. Let's try to find an exit or something. Guys, I think I found something. What? Hmm. It looks like a secret trapdoor. It looks spooky. We do not have a choice. It's getting darker and darker. I don't see a thing. Me neither. Very funny. I think we are in some kind of room. Wait now. I think I found a light switch. Ooh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Tell me, guys. What do you see? Heads. What heads? <laughs> guys. Guys, please. Their heads. Our heads. <laughs> Say something. No, guys. I Hello. Pendejos, come on. Hello? I can't take it anymore. I want to get out of here. Please, I... I got to wait. Calm down. It's, it's all right. We'll get out of here, okay? Calm down. Officer Boris is here. Boris, tell him everything is going to be fine. Please. Boris. 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 We're dead! Boris is dead! Dead? No. The curse will devour us too! This can't be happening. Not to us. Not now. We're too young to die. Locked inside this dungeon, waiting for the unknown to fall upon us. to charge at us like a furious dog protecting her puppies. But why? God, why is this happening to us? To us poor souls? I know why. It's all because of television. Yes, television. This global product of the third wave brought us here, Bulgar. Because if we didn't spend all our time in front of the TV, we wouldn't have seen this tape, and I wouldn't be wondering what is going to happen if I live till midnight. Boris, why did you leave us? Why did you leave us to bear this burden alone? Why did you let yourself be so easily wrapped in the dark sheets of doom? I can promise you one thing, Balgar. We won't end up like them, not like our friends. We owe them this. With the brilliance of my monologue and the power of the Moonlight Sonata, I declare that I'm not ready to surrender with bent head and that I'm still far from despair, but I welcome its fair sister, Hope. So brace yourself, Bulgar, because there's not much time left till midnight and we can do nothing but pray. And if this speech doesn't get me an Oscar, at least I hope you understand me, my dear old friend. It's cold. I'm trembling. I can feel my strength failing me, slowly but steadily. The curse is hanging over me like a rain cloud over London. No screenwriter could describe the fear and emptiness that I feel. It's too late, Bulgar. It is all up to you now, my friend. Farewell, Bulgar. Farewell. Pesho? Huh? <laughs> The time has come. I'm no longer afraid, and you know why? 
Because everyone I cared for is now dead, and nothing matters anymore. In that case, prepare yourself for the truth. And there is only one truth. Huh? Asparuch? Pesho! My friend, you fell right into our trap Because today is April Fool Alas, those are the motherfucking rules. Happy April Fools! The ball is pranked for quite a while. And I fell for it like a total smack. I came along, though I'm not at all hostile. Happy April Fools! Happy April Fools! I remember so well my first April Fools Day. I was just the present dance of lay. I remember I handed you a ticket to pay. Happy April Fools! Happy April Fools! Happy April Fools, my friend. Let this episode finish now. Dios mio, I love April Fools! Hey, yo, when are they supposed to be here? There's plenty of time, just before midnight. Just before midnight? Why the hell did we come here so early? Damn, we're unbelievably dumb. Listen, people, if you need music for a wedding or a funeral, the Beats Orchestra is always at your service. Am I right, boys? <laughs> Aye, aye, Captain. 
son. Tell Grandmama what time it is. I don't want to miss my soap opera. Say, how did I end up here? I can't believe they fooled me into being part of all this. And as the mayor of this town, I have a lot of work after all. Or do I? Uh, I gotta go bad. Don't get angry, my dear son. Hey, father, you're here as well. Guys, the father is here. If only Horatio was here, we'd start a Texas Hold'em game. Should I deal the cards? I'm up for it, father. Gambling is a real sin. Got me in. Flirtin, deal the cards. Guys, this ain't a casino. Don't forget what we're here for. Hey, Luke, what world do you live in? I'm betting five chips. Pardon me, but I keep forgetting. Are four kings better than three aces? Sonny, what's the time?